Okay, so to get our local key for our two devices to connect it all to Home Assistant, we have to have two accounts. So one's with the To Your Smart Life app on your Apple phone or your Android phone, and you've probably got that set up already. So use that account to set up your device initially to connect it to the To Your platform. Um, from that, we can get the, the local key that we need to set it up in Home Assistant for To Your Local. So once you've got that all sorted, then you can come across here to toyou.com and you can go to the IoT platform up in the top right hand corner. Now if you don't already have a, a, an account, you will need to go through the account setup process so there's a sign in page. And the first time you sign in after you've set up your account, you'll be asked to set your developer type. Um, you, can, you have to click um, set now, but you can just close the tab straight away. You don't necessarily have to set the type of developer you are um, for this to work. So you can just close that tab and you can come back to this main IoT platform uh, screen that you log into. So you shouldn't have to spend any money to do any of this. It should all be, um, it won't cost us anything to do this at all. Um, but once you're at this main, this main screen and it's gone through the little tutorial about where, what's what, and we need to come over to, on the left-hand side, to cloud and click on cloud. And this is where we can set up a cloud project that we're going to use to get a hold of our local key. You can see here I've got one already, my local two-year project, and I've got it all set up and linked. I'm going to show you uh, how to do that again. So basically, um, you can come up to here and click Create Project, cl Create Cloud Project. And now you can give it any name you want. You can call it My Project. You can call it Home Assistant. I'm going to call it Home Assistant. You can give it a description if you want to or not. And for industry, we select Smart Home. And for method, we want to do Smart Home. So it's important that you select that one there because you can't change it later. The data centers you can add in later. But I do happen to know that my devices will be located in the Central European Data Center. So I'm going to select that one there. You can come in later and if you're looking for which data center your devices are located at and add more, or you can just add them all now. So I'll just add them all in now. So now that's the project set up, we can just do create. Okay, now we, um, we have some APIs that come with it and the ones that come with this uh, setup, like here, the selected APIs, these four, these are the only ones you'll need to use. So we can just do authorize to continue installing these APIs, which we will need. Okay, so now we've got our project set up. It's entered into the, pro the cloud project itself. Um, so if we were to come back out into the cloud, we'll see that we've got our new, our, our new project here. So we'll just enter into this project. Okay, so now we've entered into our project. We're gonna come across to devices. And now we're going to link our Smart Life account with our developer's account. Now we have to make sure you're in the right data center. And mine is Central European Data Center, but yours might be different. So if it doesn't work the first time, just try with a different data center until you find where your devices are located. So we'll start with that one there. Now we're going to go and link our To Your App account. Now to do that, we're going to need to have our To Your App open as well, because we need that to um, authorize it. And we'll just do add app account and a QR code comes up. Now, if we look on our, on our smartphone in the top right hand corner, we can add a device. So it's just like adding a device where you'd scan the code on the device. We're going to scan the computer screen with this QR here. So then we'll do the top right hand corner again with the little box with the line. And that has um, come up with a confirmation screen. So we'll confirm that. And we'll see that it was successful and it's added our device, our account. And we can see that I've got four devices linked to that account just there. Now that's all linked. And once again, if that doesn't work for you immediately, if you've got no devices here and it doesn't come up, then you can try again. You can unlink it and you can try again with a different data center until you find where your devices are. But we've got the devices, so we can come across to all devices. And we'll see here the ones that I've got linked to my account at the moment. And the fan that we've just installed today is the Playroom fan. So we're going to get this device ID, which we'll need. So we'll copy and paste that. Now we've got that, we can go and find our local key. So to get our local key, 
we've just got to come across to the API Explorer on the left-hand side column. So these were installed automatically. Um, they were pre-selected when we first created our project. And the, uh, the section we want is in Smart Home Management, just here. Now we're going to go to uh, Device Management, and we're going to come down to Get Device Details. Now we want to put that device ID that we copied. We're going to paste it into here and submit our request. Now we have to make sure we're in the right data center too. So we've got the China one selected. So I'm going to change that to the Western European data center. Sorry, the Central European data center. Okay, so that's come up with our information and we can see that we have our local key here. So you need to copy that local key. Each one's going to be different for each device. And we're going to need that local key when we set up our device in Home Assistant. So we'll copy that and we'll keep it um, safe for some, put it away in a, so we can use it later on. Okay, so there's something else we can find in this section here. We can go to the device control and we can do instruction sets. Get device specifications. And this will tell us a little bit about the data points that are available on our device. So once again, we can put our device ID in here and submit the request, and it will tell us the, what the data points on our device do. So these data points are used in Home Assistant to set up the device. So we can see here data point one is the switch that turns the fan on and off. Data point two is the mode, so it's got different modes on the fan. Data point three is the fan speed, and we can see that it's a numerator, is the type, and it's got a range of one to three. So it's got three speeds and it uses the numbers one, two, and three. So we're gonna see that in action later when we set it up in Home Assistant. And we can see here data point six is a countdown timer. Data point nine is the light, which we're going to use as well. And that's a Boolean, so it's true or false, on or off. And then we have the brightness value, which is data point 10, which is an integer, and that's to control the brightness of the light. I think that perhaps this fan that we're installing is dimmable, but I'm not 100% certain, but it probably could be. And they will help us, to, all this information here is going to help us to set up our device in Home Assistant. Um, but you don't necessarily need to know that, that's just where this information came from to do the setup, which is going to follow. Okay, so may, make sure you've still got that local key, and we're going to go head over into Home Assistant and set up our fan and get it working.